one of the uses of a mask is to remove part of an image that you don't want to have around and that's what this aims to show you how to do it's not just an image but you can do the same thing to videos the recurring colored section that's being highlighted here is what will remove with the uh, inverted mask to reveal the image that's right below it After we applied the uh, inverted mask, this is what the uh, end result is going to be. This is exactly the same as we saw before, except it's reduced in speed by about two thirds. The cream colored area is removed, and the image below it is revealed. It's a very nice, non destructive way to remove parts of an image. The layer I use for my mask is white because I can use that as either a transparency or it's a grayscale mask. I sized it to 1000 by 670 because it's uh, sized for the region that I'm going to remove. I then vignetted it using a shape of rounded triangle, a type of transparent, and vignette size of 2 and a corner size of 100. The keyframe si times are as given over here on the right. The uh, keyframe 1 transition in is 2.3 seconds, and I use the transition of Plasma Soft. The slide time is 8 seconds, and the tra slide transition time in is 1 second, and the slide transition time out is 3 seconds. Down below, where you have the motion settings, uh, it gives the keyframe 1, 2, and 3 settings, and the settings for keyframe 4 are the same as for keyframe 3. I'm doing the exact same thing here, except that I'm cutting out a section from a video as opposed to cutting out a s section from a static image.